Hello and welcome. Over the past several days we have journeyed together to the cross. Today is Good Friday, the day that Jesus was crucified. On Thursday, Jesus was denied, betrayed and then arrested. Various illegal trials took place during which Jesus was whipped and beaten and had a crown of thorns thrust onto his head. Pilate brought Jesus out to the people, hoping that they would want him to be released. But the people shouted for Jesus to be crucified. Luke tells us what happened in chapter 23, verse 23. But the mob shouted louder and louder, demanding that Jesus be crucified, and their voices prevailed. So Pilate sentenced Jesus to die as they demanded. And then we read in verse 33, when they came to a place called the skull, they nailed him to the cross, and the criminals were also crucified, one on his right and one on his left. The Roman soldiers did their job well. The nails were driven through the wrist to support the weight of the sagging body. For six hours, Jesus hung naked, covered with cuts and bruises and a crude crown of thorns spike in his head with every fibre of his body twitching in agony as his chest heaved great gulping breaths. Crucifixions were a messy business. The Romans who seem to have got hold of this idea of crucifixions from the Phoenicians from the Punic Wars became experts at this most awful form of execution. They reserved it for the lower class in the empire and in particular it was the penalty for the slaves. It wasn't even talked about in polite Roman society. And so there was Jesus, the innocent one, dying between two criminals. There were three words that Jesus said that are just so important for us to understand and accept. John recorded the last words of Christ on the cross. Jesus said, it is finished. And then he died. It is finished is one word in the Greek language, to tell us die. The word to tell us die is unfamiliar to us, but various people in everyday life used it back in those days. For example, when a person perched purchase something, the merchant would take the money and then hand the person a receipt that said to tell us die, meaning paid in full. The debt had been fully paid. And so when Jesus shouted out, it is finished, to tell us die, he was declaring that the work that he came to do was finished. Max Licardo writes, the history long plain plan of redeeming humanity was finished. The message of God to humanity was finished. The works done by Jesus as a man on earth were finished. The task of selecting and training followers was finished. The job was finished. The song had been sung. The blood had been poured. The sacrifice had been made. The sting of death had been removed. It was over to tell us die. Today, on this most significant day, we remember the death of Jesus and how he had completed his mission. The work of redemption is finished. Our debts have been paid in full. To tell us die. In prayer right now, pause and reflect on the death of Jesus. His immense sacrifice, the love and grace of God, and what this means to you.